During the first era, the Snow Elves and humans, who would later call themselves Nords, fought a continuous battle over the lands of Skyrim. After several horrific events of genocide and terrorism, such as the Night of Tears and the Battle of Muzring, the Snow Elves were majorly crippled by Ysgrimro and his companions, who made an oath they would kill every last one of them. They sought refuge with the superior, highly advanced race, the Dwemer. The Dwemer agreed to this arrangement, but only if the Snow Elves also agreed to ingest a toxic fungus from Blackreach. This gradually led to the loss of sight and permanent blindness. Not all the Snow Elves agreed to this con. Splinter groups had formed to search for alternative solutions. These pockets of survivors were all slaughtered, had vanished, or had surrendered to the Dwemer and accepted their twisted offer. One of these groups contained a small family of Snow Elves who turned down the Dwemer's offer. The group withheld two parents and their three offspring. The youngest and only daughter, Ezrin, was 18 years old. She had merely scraped the art of magic before the war and was only taught a few basic spells by her father. The family held refuge in a cave until the Nords found them. In an attempt to escape, her mother and two brothers were killed. She and her father fled further into the cave while being chased by the Nord predators. After gaining some distance, they reached a dead end. After witnessing the death of the rest of his family, the father refused to see hers too. Using his last soul gem he possessed, he soul trapped her. Here she remained, waiting until she could once again return home. Hello there guys, my name is the Marshal from Mars, and welcome to the beginning of Ezrin's Adventures. But yeah, we are finally doing this series, it's been... It's been a couple of months in preparation, but we're finally here, we're doing this right here, right now. As you can see, here is our character Ezrin, she is in fact a snow elf from the first era, and... Uh, as you know from the intro, she is now inside a soul gem. As you can see here, we are trapped. In order for her to survive, obviously, her father had to do this. So, um, she's stuck in here, so we need to try and get out. Let's go. She was actually naked, I should probably point out. Um, the game literally took everything off of us, so I spawned in. I spawned in this tunic, um, which is technically cheating, but, you know, we're not going to start off a game naked, especially because we have Frostfall enabled. That'd be a bit bad. Right, so we've got the core of the gem here. Let's see what it has to say. Uh, what am I doing here? What happened? You mean you don't know? Your soul has been ripped from your body and is now kept here into what you know is a soul gem. Shit. So we are proper stuck in here then. I've been soul trapped? Yes, most definitely. It's strange that you retain some sense of self. You must be very strong-willed. Oh, sick. But it shall wane and all that shall remain is your spiritual energy. It is only a matter of time. So her, she's she's not actually physically here. She's, her soul is. Um, you mean that no one has ever escaped? Souls escape all the time, but only at my will. And what is your will? My will is to release you in due time. Everything has a time, and yours hasn't come yet. Right, shit, okay. Um, so we've got to wait. We've just got to wait here. Alright, so it has been quite some time now. Um, Ezrin has um, had some occasional chats with the Core of the Soul Gem, and they've sort of been talking about what's happened since she's been inside the Soul Gem. So that's why she sort of knows uh, who the Imperial Legion are and all that sort of stuff. 
Um, you know, it's not like uh, Serana from Skyrim where she didn't have a clue about anything. Um, Ezra sort of she understands what's going on in Skyrim now, um, well after uh, long after her sort of time, and we're gonna go speak to the Soul Gem again. Uh, any way I could convince you to set me free? Well, you don't seem to be fading away like the others, and the last centuries have been boring. I do enjoy game of the game of riddle with mortals. All right, okay. So what's um? So if I solve your riddle, you'll set me free? Yes. Why not? Oh, that's a very nice core of a soul gem. Uh, deal, I'll ask your riddle. Let's see here. I'm the beginning of the end, the end of space and time. I am essential to creation, and I surround every place. What am I? Beginning of the end, end of space and time. The letter E? Correct. Yes. I remember that riddle. I remember that riddle. Will you let me go now? As agreed, come back to visit sometimes. Oh. Wow, it's such a nice soul gem. <laughs> he wants me to actually come back and visit. We are free! Abandoned prison discovered. Wow. So... You feel chilly. Okay. And that's it, we're out. So we are out in the world now. And, um... A lot has changed for Ezrin. Ezrin even, sorry. It's it's spelled um J E S R E N, but it's pronounced like the J's sort of not pronounced, so it's Ezrin. Wow, so we we've got Frostfall, uh we've got quite a lot of mods enabled. Um we've got approximately a hundred and ninety three mods, which is pretty crazy. Um so the aims of this let's play is I want it to be sort of immersive and law friendly, so that's why I came up with this sort of whole backstory. For the reason behind playing as a snow elf, because I wanted um, our character to be sort of unique and sort of something we've never seen uh, on YouTube or in a Let's Play before. Uh, we are a mage character focusing um, on sort of ice destruction, but um, as I said in the intro, she knows a um, few destruction and conjuration spells. Um, she also knows some alteration and illusion as well, and restoration. So, um, she knows a, a, a couple of stuff. Not too much, so I, I might actually just hotkey these very quickly. So we've got Frostbite. Oh, wait, shit, i got a favorite first, haven't I? Uh, d -d 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 -d. Right, so, uh, Frostbite first, because she's a nice mage. Then we'll have Healing. Then, Bound Sword. Should wait, why did I press 3, 2... Uh, candlelight, clairvoyance, and open locks. That is from the uh, lock overhaul mod. Where you can uh, open locks and stuff using magic, which is pretty cool. Because, um, you know, we've got the other series, Thief, for the whole lock picking thing. So, you know, we don't need to do all that again. So I thought it's a pretty cool mod. Um, we have got all the immersive stuff. Frostfall, uh, realistic needs and diseases. Uh, Hunterborn as well, which I did feature on my channel uh, in Skyrim Mods Workshop, uh, which I thought was a pretty cool mod. Um, Canis Root, okay. Oh, another thing as well I would like quite like to do with the series is um, focus on alchemy and stuff, because um, I've never actually done a lot of alchemy. Light armor increased. Awesome. Yeah, I've never really done... I've never used alchemy in Skyrim, like, properly. I've done sort of... Bits and bobs, but I've never actually properly done it. So, uh, oh, this guy's got clothes. Sweet. Hunting short bow. Dagger. We'll just sort of take everything. Strange brew. Treasure map. Uh, should we take these? Yeah, let's take it. Screw it. Lusty Arconian maid. Oh, no. This, um... I really want to read this. Um... Don't mind. <laughs> Into the depths of hell. Alright, so I've got the fishing mod as well, but I can't pick up that fishing rod. I don't know whether that's just for show or if it's legit. Um, oh, fuck. Right, so we don't want to go in the water, obviously, because it's cold. Uh, so let's um, put some clothes on. Dispel ring. I don't know what that does. We'll just wear the other one. Um, alright, so we've got 
We've got some reasonable armor now, provides limited exposure protection. Um, I have also got HDT physics, as you can see. Um, Israel's hair flows about. I've also got the body ones, so um, <laughs> boobs and ass as well, uh, which didn't seem very necessary, but apparently so. Shit, I went in the war. All right, so I guess we're going this way. Um, I just see a treasure map as well. We'll check that out. Let's see what's in this. Rifton. That's the bridge outside Rifton. And there's the waterfall. Hmm. Alright, that'll be something to do later on. Seems pretty interesting. Got some ore down there. Abandoned prison. So we, we got, um... Put back into this reality outside of prison. So maybe we should check it out. Let's see what's in here. Wow, okay, this place is quite creepy. Ah, right, yes. So we need to warm up here, as you can see. Yes, yeah, so that bar, if you don't know, if you're not familiar with Frostfall, um, the higher up the bar is red, and the warmer you are. And then if the bar goes down, goes blue, then that means you're freezing. And if the bar goes fully blue, then that means you're going to freeze to death. Um, and there were some options as well for um, if you freeze to death. There's a percentage chance um, of you being rescued. I set it to... I think it was 50 if we're on our own, and if we have companions, um, 100, or a very high percentage, because obviously, you know, there are friends, our companions, so barkeeper's clothes, right, take it for the hell of it. Um, yeah, so if we've got people with us, obviously we're going to be rescued. Uh, yes, awesome. Take that. So we sort of need to take a lot of stuff, just so we can, um... So we can sell... Uh, try not to get in the water here. Potion of health. Bucket. Don't really want that. Uh, what else? We oh, there's a chest up there. Gold, sweet, shield. Awesome. Oh. Accidentally pressed A. Uh, right. This place has got some pretty good loot, actually. Alright, let's sneak down here. See what we got. I don't think there's anyone here. Hmm. Alright, food. Sweet. Pork and meat. Imperial sword. Imperial short bow. Shield. Oh, we're going to make tons of gold from this. 10, 15. Should we take these? I might just take these just so we can sell them. Because uh, Ezrin, I should probably mention as well, she's a uh, she's a sort of moral character, like unlike um, her, well, the other character I had, uh, Thurinef, who was just a total rebel who stole stuff and all that. Um, Ezrin doesn't steal, she doesn't kill innocent people, she is um, very caring, I guess you could say. Merchant's closed, I don't really want that. Alright, so we've got some pretty good stuff here. Uh, Imperial light boots. 19, 19. With the braces. Gloves, obviously, don't have anything, so we'll take these. Uh, da -da -da -da. Right, we've got the Imperial light boots. Um, hide armor. I've got any other armors. Alright, so that's good for now. Um,. We are going to be Imperial as well because um, Ezrin is a snow elf and actually the Nords totally wiped out her entire race. So she doesn't really like them all that much. Hence why she sides with the Legion. Oh, it's a ghost. Oh shit, okay. Um, fuck. Right, uh, what have we got? Shit. Do any magic spells? Come on, please, 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 please. Right, we're gonna have to use weapons. Um Fuck, right. Dodge, dodge, dodge. 
All right, that was close. <gasps> Another one. Ouch. Fuck. <sighs> All right, we got him. Sweet. Ectoplasm, fur armor, and boots. Ah, what's that? Okay, we'll take that. All right, we'll take all of his stuff, I guess. I'm worried we're going to get overcome, over encumbered. Now we're good for now. All right, let's switch back to our stuff. There we go. That's not the one. Um, which one is the bound sword? There we go. That's it. That's what we want. Right, where's this dick? Hello? Anyone here? Sounds like he's up there, but I don't know where he is. Hmm. Expert, right? We won't attempt these. So I could just show you. Um, definitely one of the hardest locks I've ever got my hands on. So obviously we can't do it because we haven't got the perk yet. And wow, my hand is red. Jesus. Uh, abandoned prison key. Alright, torch. Let's get that going. Get some light in here. Uh, abandoned prison key. Prisoner cuffs. Okay, that's kind of weird. Um... Nothing in here at all. Now, nah, right, let's go. Alright, well, there's a hole there. Okay. Is this where the dude is? Let's get that torch out. Uh, I keep thinking it's F for favorites. It's not, though, is it? It's Q. Alright, there we go. I was really excited to use my frost spells, but these damn ghosts just not having it. Of course, the downside of being a um, fire, uh, frost mage is that uh, we won't be able to fight against Nords very well because they're resistant. Uh, barrel. Nails, okay. Oh, God damn, there's water. Alright, let's go. Alright, so we've searched the entire dungeon now. Um, wow, we've just come out here. Okay, that's crazy. Imperial sword. Gold was my favourite. Should, we should probably take bone meal if we're going to do alchemy. Uh, wow, so that's it. We're out. That's awesome. Uh, where are we? There's a mill down there so we could go and maybe get some help. Um, I'm guessing we 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 were up there a minute ago because that's upstream. Uh, yes, we were. Okay. All right, we'll just follow the roads for the time being, and then uh, see where we go from there. So we've also got the uh, third person 360 camera, which is pretty cool. Can run around and not run backwards like an idiot, which is pretty cool. Oh, there's so many mods. I could spend I could spend ages just discussing all of them, but like there's just too many. Like I said, there's uh, approximately 193. Although just less than that, because I think the uh, list includes DLC as well. So. Stormcloak Mage. If you know any true sons and daughters of Skyrim, tell them to head to Windhelm. Ulfric Stormcloak wants to see. Alright, so we're going to avoid these Stormcloaks. We don't like them. 
worker's house. Uh, I guess we just go along here, really. Keep following the roads till we get to a city. Alright, there's a giant over there. Uh, Dragon's Tongue, sweet. See, it sort of brings like, a whole new way of playing the game. Like, you have to look around and see all the shit you can pick up. All the ingredients. It's pretty cool. I don't know any recipes off by heart. I should probably mention Come as well. On. So, Let's oh, see what you're made of. Freeze, bitch. Oh no, we're at magic. Quick. Oh, he bastard. Where is this guy going? Come here. Whoa. Jesus, dog, calm down. Um, I've also got the player voice thing as well, so that's why you can hear Ezrin's voice. Oh. There's a little shack down there. Should we go and see? Wow. Wow, look at this bridge. It's ancient. I can tell not many people use it because it's just so overgrown. That's crazy. Dragon's tongue. We're finding a lot of these. Guessing they must be common in this part of Sky. Shit, what's that? Oh god, there's a saber cat! Run, 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 run! Fuck. Oh god! Okay, that was a bad idea. Let's go quick. Run, Ezer, and run! Oh shit, it's a dead end. Right, he stopped. For now, he's coming, he's coming. Fuck. I'm gonna have to swim across the the river. Oh no. Oh god. Can saber cat swim? Soaking wet from rain or swimming, which significantly increases your rate of exposure. Dry off by standing near a fire, spending enough time out of the rain and not swimming. Wearing a cloak might help you stay dry traveling in the rain. Shit. Exposure has in your exposure has increased and your skills are beginning to suffer. You should find a warm Fire to warm up. You can also drink alcohol to reduce your exposure temporarily. By default, you would die at very high exposure. Shit, let's get... Have we got any booze? No bead, okay. Has that worked? There's an inn up there. Thank fuck. You feel chilly. Right, let's go quick. We have... We have 181 gold. That's not bad. That's enough to, um... It's enough to get a carriage ride, I'm pretty sure. Some ingredients. Right. Cl awkwardly climb up the cliff there. Oh, Skynesgrove. Hello. An outsider. No reason to stop in Kynesgrove. Keep moving. Oh. Uh. Never mind. All right, then. Okay. Wow, so we actually made it. That's crazy. I mean... Storm cloaks. Damn. We need to get out of this side of Skyrim. Just because... We obviously don't want to be here. If we support the Legion. Right, let's get a room for the night. And then um, see where we go from there. This may be a good place to leave off the first episode. Hello. If you're feeling charitable, buy the Northern ah, Mead. He's good for it. Who's Rogi? He's been in Kynesgrove forever. Great storyteller. Keeps everyone's spirits up. Owes me a lot of coin for drinks. I keep telling him not to worry about it, but he's got the stubborn Nord blood. Damn fool doesn't have the coin to pay me back, so he just beats himself up over it, and then he gets thirsty, and it cycles all over again. God. Um, what if I talk to him? If you could convince him that I don't care about his tab, it'd certainly make me feel better. Okay. Um. I'd like to rent a room? Sure thing. It's yours for a day. 
All right, sweet. I'll show you to your room. It's right this way. Sick. All right, let's go. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Oh, this is our room? No way. This is our... Oi, what are you doing in my room? Seen the remnants of the grove? That? Well, that was me. Me and my sister. Oh, this is awesome. We've got, like, our own alchemy table and... Kinnereth. Awesome. Oh, this is awesome. Who knew the Nords cared about a bunch of old trees? Yeah, true that. Alright, let's go to bed and then figure out what we're going to do tomorrow. Alright, that was a good sleep. That was pretty awesome. So, uh, oh, we've got alchemy table as well. So let's, um, should we taste some ingredients? Restore health, alright. Bone meal. Damage stamina. Canis root. Damage stamina, ah, okay, we keep eating poison stuff. Creep cluster. Restore magicka, okay. Dragon's tongue. Or is this fire? Interesting. Guess it makes sense. Ectoplasm. Yeah, we're not going to taste that. <laughs> uh, thistle branch. Or is this frost? No! Ah, shit. You're right, Ezrin. Right, let's make some stuff. Create potions and poisons by combining two or more ingredients. Share a common effect. Experiment with different ingredients to learn their effects. And then I told her about the vampires and the damage stamina. So we've made a poison. That's pretty cool. I would have, I would have preferred a um, a potion that would help us, but you know, I guess it's a place to start. So uh, I think I'm going to leave it here. Um, Ezrin's going to rest off for a while and then hit the road again. Um, and yes, yeah, so thank you very much for watching the first episode. Uh, if you enjoyed, excellent. If you've got any mod suggestions, uh, please be sure to let me know. And yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in episode 2 next Sunday. Goodbye.